Let's get things going here in Foxborough inside Gillette Stadium. Let's go! Good start, Chance Hymas on the Honda. He had a fall earlier today, but it hasn't affected him. Well, it hasn't, and that was a, a great start from the outside or mid-pack. There, got a good drive out of the gate. Perfect execution. This track is meant, I, this is a great racetrack here tonight. Very challenging. Speeds are a little bit slower. However, the rhythm lanes are super difficult. The guys are jumping really, really high. So keep your eyes through those rhythm section, rhythm lanes because of that. Folks, it's not often that a track gets Ricky Carmichael's attention like uh -oh. this one has today, where all I've heard you all day is, oh, ah, oh, look at that. Watch out. This is going to be action tonight. Well, it is in that first rhythm lane after the first corner. I will make mention of it. This was a, it was a trap section. What I mean by that, it was catching guys off guard for sure. Tons of crashes and huge mistakes. And right here, when they come onto that tabletop and bounce off over there, like Hymas just did, they're clipping their rear wheel, weight goes forward, and they are going for an absolute ride. Pierce Brown, McAdoo, Collip, Romano, Miller, and Leitzel. Inside move, good work there from McAdoo. Oh, great pass. Cameron McAdoo is able to get up the inside uh, going into the corner after the whoop, so make a pass, no contact made. Pardon me, that was Hamaker. No, that, that was that was McAdoo. Sure, what was McAdoo? Yeah, yeah, it was McAdoo. McAdoo got by him. Hamaker and uh, McAdoo looking similar on that Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki and Fox Racing Gear same colors. Here we go inside, outside Hamaker side by side. The crowd love it here in Foxborough, and Deegan is through. There he goes. Has a sneaky look over at Seth and then gets on with it. Whoa, that was close. Hammaker turned down early, made an early exit. Whoa, Whoa oh. Deegan kind of spins out. Lost the back end and he may have stalled it. Yeah, he stalled the bike. Oh, this is gonna be huge. Where this really hurts Hayden is now he's gonna have a poor gate pick for the main events. Let's see what happens going for, trying to make a move by Hymas in the same spot that he was able to make the pass by Hammaker. Oh, yep, hits the rear brake, and as he hits the rear brake, that sand just jams up the back wheel. But this is coming to the end here for the first heat. McAdoo has a look on the inside. Chance Hymas! There's a big celebration because that's his first ever 250 heat victory. Look at the emotion from that guy. I mean, you talk about it, it's so easy to say, oh, it's just a heat race, but that's how special it is to win. Ready to go, heat two, 250 East. Here it is. Good start on the inside from Max. Gets that whole shot. Wow, who's coming flying through? Is that Cody Shock? Someone is roaring through on the inside. Yeah, well, I was watching Jalik Swole too. He was up there. And yeah, I, I don't know if it was Cody who hit him, regardless, but uh, love and the aggression. And that's Casey Cochran in third, Lee. Wow. It's done nothing but give them confidence that they too can come over and do the same thing. Oh, there's some confidence. Daxton Bennick on the inside of Cody Shock. Cody will return the favor here. Benek is looking at a lot of alternative lines, but lost a bit of ground there to Shock, and now he's under threat from Tom Vial. Yeah, Vial just kind of picking his way through here, crosses back underneath them, makes the move. Beautiful. Working hard is something that is synonymous with this guy because came to race Supercross here. Super, super credentialed. Gets the win, heat win for Max Anstey, but he doesn't stop working and that work is paying off. Here is a young man at the other end of his career, at the beginning, Casey Cochran, massive night under the lights here in Massachusetts. And on his debut, comes across in the top five. That's a solid start. Yeah, that was a fine, fine ride. And he was in, like I said, he was in a hornet's nest. Ready to go. Heat one of the 450s here in Foxborough. Let's do it. A blinding start by Eli Tomac, my goodness! That was something like we saw from Chase Sexton all the way back in San Francisco. I don't think he could have timed it any better. Look out, here comes Justin Cooper. But that was a flyer from Eli. Boy, he was feeling pretty sp spicy and racy in practice earlier today. He came out to a huge crowd roar in rider introductions. I think Eli's got his mojo back. He said that he felt like the Eli of old in St. Louis. It was 
really encouraging to see Hunter uh, come away with that good result at St. Louis. Remember, he's in his first, just like his little bro, he's in his first season aboard the 450 as he draws alongside Shane McElrath and gets third. Section, here he's going to the inside, cuts over. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. <clears throat> oh. Oh, man. Yeah. He is up, up, thankfully. I'm not sure. Maybe did he did he cross rut? It's almost, I don't know if the bike hit neutral, but he just got pitched forward. Look at this. Roxon just got by Justin Barsha. There, hello. Uh -huh. Ken's wondering what's going on. So the X-Star Progressive Suzuki rider gets by the Troy Lee Design Red Bull Gas Gas Man, and it's check and flag time for Eli Tomac. The crowd love it. That was just like the roar that he got in rider introductions. And that was quite the comeback from Kenny. Well done, Ken Roxon. He had to work hard for that third place. Revs are up, gates down, let's do this. Who gets the jump? Cooper Webb, oh. wow! Jet Lawrence almost slammed into the back of him. Anderson's up the inside, but it's Cooper Webb with the whole shot. Cooper slams the door. The 18 of Jet Lawrence almost high sides on the rear tire of Cooper Webb. Wow, that was close. Jason Anderson is off to a great start since second on that Monster Energy Kawasaki. Here comes the champ. Chase Sexton slots into fourth. Ooh, that was a really good pass. That's two more laps of treats. Yeah, two more laps of treats. I love it. I mean, this has been an incredible season, Lee. We talked about it at the top of the show. Uh-oh, here you go. Inside, inside, got you him. got it. And runs with just a little high. No worries. Yeah, Jet blows him away in the whoops. He's just so much faster uh, than, than Cooper Webb. And Colt Nichols on the beta, on the Liquid Molly beta, has got himself into a transfer position. I think this is setting up for an awesome main. Check it, flag out, and heat to win. A quick reminder that the SMX video pass is the only way for our international fans to watch all the races. And for the first time ever, broadcasting in Spanish. Let's join Edgar Lopez and Tommy Rios now for the start of this one. 250. Lo tenemos todo preparado para este grupo que está comenzando en su última carrera para clasificar a la final de la 250. Todo preparado, los pilotos en la línea, asegurándose ya con sus guantes, acelerando. Y ya estamos en carrera, doblando la primera curva. ¿Y quién va a tomar un accidente? Oh, parece que hubo un accidente en la primera curva. Y quien está primero, Welch en el primer lugar, Shelly y Lujovi en el tercer lugar. Estoy buscando al chileno de Hardy Muñoz y a Lorenzo Locurcio. Ojalá no se quedan. You always want to make a pass. So you get right close, right up to the rear tire of somebody. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Carroll is down! Oh, I think when he was leaning into the corner, the bike started to slide out and then it gripped up really quick and it high sided and then threw his body weight off the side of the bike. Okay, all is good. Meanwhile, up front, Bryce Shelley, congratulations. Through to the main event, gives himself a little nod. Nicely done, worked hard for that. Hoffman's gonna just narrowly miss out. Oh, that was a good hard ride. This is quite often some of the biggest action that you will see. Who's staying, who's going home? Let's find out. Where's Justin Cooper? How's he going to play it? He's out wide. He's taking it carefully. Doesn't get the whole shot, but that doesn't matter. He's just gingerly working his way through. He's back in about seventh at the moment, closest to camera. Yeah, he's doing right here, being a little cautious. I think the big thing for Justin Cooper, if he can get through a lap, that thing start to thin out. It gets a little more single file. He'll be able to pick his way through to transfer position, or should rather. Two separate ways to attack that section. Simonson in the lead at the moment, but for how long? Here comes Benny. Benny's got it. Now, if you're Simonson, do all you can to uh, hang with Benny. And the reason that is, he'll be able to build a gap between himself and Ty Masterpool and probably Justin Cooper. How the bike pitched him forward, I don't feel like that came from. Oh, whoa, whoa, Ty Masterpool got out of his rhythm and loses that spot to A Rod. 
we have seen some incidents, but has it been less impactful than you thought? Because you thought it was going to be quite yeah. problematic as Cooper makes a pretty straightforward move on the inside of Simonson. Yeah, it's, it's less impactful, uh, especially in these heat races, what I anticipated it to be uh, when we were watching qualifying practice earlier today because the SMX track crew have done a, a great job and the wind has dried it out. So most guys are doing a lot of the same stuff. But I feel what the separator is going to be in the main events is just how ruddy these rhythm lanes get. His teammate Colt Nichols advanced directly via the heat and it's an LCQ victory for Benny Bloss. That's his sixth career LCQ victory. How about this guy, Chance Hymas, the teenager who just got his first 250 heat win. What can he do? He said that was the huge boost that he needed. 250 East here in Foxborough, let's do it. On the inside, that's Sepp Hamaker. He's trying to push his way through on top Vial. Vial in danger, boy. Deegan has a look to his left, and here comes Vial. But Hayden Deegan gets the whole shot and takes off. Yeah, this is going to be a great battle. Oh, here goes Hamaker up the inside, tries to get a piece of Vial, isn't able to do it. Little bit of contact there on Vial's swing arm. Not too bad, though. Uh, looked like Seth Hamaker went down in the whoops. Hate to see that. Oh. Oh. i show you a replay of Seth Hamaker's crash. Look, top box, rider on the left. Top left, everything's okay. Starts to blitz the whoops. And just body goes forward. Weight starts to transfer. Maybe got a little wheel spin. And as that happens, the bike starts to pitch forward. Over he goes. Oh, look at this. Inside goes Cameron McAdoo. He has shown us that that is his key spot on this track, lap after lap, as the teammates go at it. See ya. Bennett going to make the move. He got over to the left-hand side of that rhythm section, was able to drive through the jump faces a bit faster than Nick Romano and make the pass. It will be the second win in 250 East for Yamaha for Monster Energy, Yamaha Star Racing. So he'll have two, just like Tom Bial has two for Red Bull KTM, and Kawasaki has two. It's a Yamaha night, and Danger Boy does it! In Foxborough, second win on the year. Deegan is back. And don't count him out of this championship with three to go. Ah, uh, nope. It comes at a perfect time. They got the showdown or shootout next week in Nashville. Showdown, it'll be a great opportunity for him to maybe pick up a couple extra points if the other riders are able to finish in between himself, Tom Vial, and Cameron McAdoo. It's time to bring the action in the Northeast. 450 main. Here we go. Tomac, another good start. Webb on the inside, though. Roxon's in the mix. Here comes Anderson. And Lawrence Jett is buried in the pack. Oh, Cooper wasn't able to triple right there. Kenny going to try to get by. Doesn't. Another good start from Shane McElrath. He's on the inside with his teammate, Ken Roxon. Anderson goes around the outside. Webb, Roxon, Anderson, McElrath. Inside is Sexton now, gets McElrath for fourth. And you may have noticed that oh. Tomac got tangled on that opening nap, and Tomac has had problems again. He's right in front of Jet Lawrence. You're talking well down the order, outside the top ten. What happened? This will tell us. Well, this goes over the finish line jump. Going to come through. Oh, what happened was as he's leaning the bike over, he accelerates to get a good drive out of the corner, and the rear end slides over the top of the rut and slides out. Well, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but it is starting to rain. Now, we've only got about 15 minutes plus two laps to go in this race, but it is picking up quickly. Those slippery spots on the racetrack are going to be what you have to watch. There's no, there's no dirt left, so if any rain forms up on those sections, it's going to become ice very, very quickly. Well, expanding to what JT is talking about, yes, it is an ideal that it's raining, but at least these guys are going to be able to adjust as the conditions deteriorate especially NASCAR, these guys in these big speedways, they'll get in front of guys that they see them come and take their air away in their front yeah. down force, similar to these guys. Oh. Inside, Jet Lawrence on Eli Tomac, and then takes that defensive inside line. Tomac tries to switch back, but lost a little momentum. So Jet makes that 
move stick. And that's going to be positive move in the championship. Folks, we are all tied at the top. Jet Lawrence and Cooper Webb are tied at the top of this Monster Energy AMA Supercross Championship. With eight minutes to go and still one lap. Oh, oh Jet almost jumps off, gets caught up into a tough block. This has been a determined ride by Chase Sexton, who's now finally got the momentum up over that wall jump. Has to switch it back. Roxton Suzuki is about as wide as four bikes. Sexton's going to have to give him a little elbow grease here if he wants to get by. He's lost way too much time. He's way faster than Kenny right now. However, Kenny doing a great job to keep Sexton behind him, but Sexton's losing some precious time. That lead is now gone from 1.8 to 2.4 to the advantage of Cooper Webb over these guys. Kickstart Kenny has been rocked oh, by Kenny. Oh, he's gone. No, what? Wow. And Sexton on the inside. Still can't get it done. Ken Roxon has been the everywhere man tonight. And finally, he can't hold Sexton off anymore. Oh, uh, watch this. Sexton's going to catch Cooper Webb. Great riding, both men. Sexton's got to put, oh, Whoa. Cooper high sides gets cross-rutted. He got cross-rutted and that was costly time-wise. Oh. oh, and Sexton nearly drops it. He kind of did the splits on the inside. So both these guys made errors that kind of neutralized the situation. Final lap, they're on their way home. Cooper Webb staring down his fourth win of the season. And here is Lawrence on the inside of Anderson. Oh, this is going to be tight. Here comes Sexton. He is not done with yet. This is where he's been pretty good. Has Cooper Webb got enough? Can Lawrence do anything about Anderson? So much to play for. Do we leave here the championship tied? Or does Lawrence keep it? And does Webb get another win? Or does Sexton upset the night? Two guys he's at got the a, front. He's got to guard the inside right here. He's got enough. He's got enough, but he goes high. Cooper Webb wins in Foxborough and shares the championship lead, or does he? Jet Lawrence oh, almost spins out. We are tied at the top of this championship. Lawrence gave it everything, but this man shows yet again what a fighter he is. <laughs> Cooper Webb, he is ready for it. He's ready for another championship fight. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.